Hey everyone, so following on from my previous video where I showed you my tow bar being fitted, the next step in the process towards getting a bike was to find a trailer. Um, I was quite keen to get a small trailer um, so that my overall length didn't exceed 9 meters um, for various reasons um, including if you go to many campsites of your vehicle total length is above nine meters you are charged extra um, ferry costs etc etc um, and it's just easier to tow something that's a lot smaller so fortunately i managed to find this easy lifter hydro trail trailer on facebook marketplace actually um, they very rarely come up second hand so i was really fortunate to find this trailer went to pick it up um, it needed a few modifications which have now been done um, and towards the end of this video I will show you how you actually get the bike onto this trailer and here we have uh, my new toy um, as I mentioned in the previous video it was getting a bit unf unfeasible infeasible to use my motorhome to uh, do exploring because of the cost of diesel etc um, and the motorcycle just really opens up opportunities for me where I can go off-road on road um, obviously running it is far cheaper than running a two and a half litre diesel motorhome at three and a half tons um, so yeah I've already been out of there quite a bit um, and very excited about being able to get out and about more regularly quicker and explore places where I wouldn't necessarily be able to explore in the in the motorhome so as I said I shall show you it in a bit how I load this bike onto the trailer I've just shown you so this particular trailer comes with a bracket which you replace the tow bar um, ball head with so you take the ball head off and you put the bracket that comes with the trailer you, you bolt that onto the uh, tow bar bracket itself um, you then put this kind of arm into that bracket and lock it in place what that what that actually does then is allows the trailer to follow the van so unlike a normal trailer which is articulated um, when you reverse, you reverse as normal and the, the, the trailer basically follows the path of the vehicle. Um, into that arm you then put the deck itself and that's just held in place with a quite a thick pin that you put through so that it can't slip out. Um, and the bottle, it's basically got a um, bottle jack that you use rated at three tons to lift the bike off the ground. This arm that I'm putting over the bike seat just basically holds the bike onto the deck um, so that you can then start jacking it up off the ground the theory is you can just use the arm to secure the bike but i'm a bit paranoid about these kinds of things so i tend to put one or two ratchet straps on at this point before i even start jacking the bike up um, <clears throat> um, and i'm probably <laughs> probably overboard with the ratchet straps um, you know by the time i set off i tend to have about six to eight ratchet straps on the bike um, you know rather safe than sorry I guess um, so one of the one of the one of the issues I have found with this trailer is that you've got to be on level ground because um, if you're not on level ground the the bottle jack doesn't lift the bike off the ground high enough to get sufficient clearance to put the wheels on the bottom um, which you'll see in a minute so you have to be on you know solid ground hard ground it's if you're on grass etc it's likely going to sink the back of the vehicle is going to sink into the ground and not give you that sufficient clearance to get the wheels on the bottom so if you are thinking about a trailer like this just bear that in mind you know you, you've got to be on a hard surface so hard standing pitch or a road surface that kind of thing um, so once you've got the bike up it's then time to put the wheels on and there are actually caster wheels so well you know, not obviously the little caster wheels you used to um, but they do rotate the full 60 degrees um, so that's why the the trailer is able to follow the path of the the vehicle um, and you don't have to worry about you know turning one way so the trailer goes the other way the trailer simply follows the the direction of the vehicle which makes it a lot easier to tow and you don't have to worry about the trailer you know taking out a back 
back light or anything like that. Um, so yeah, that's it at this stage. <coughs> excuse me. Once you've got the wheels on, you then uh, let the bottle jack down and the weight of the, the bike is then transferred to the trailer. Um, so at that point, that the trailer takes 85% of the bike weight. The trailer is rated at um, 250 kilograms. It can take a bike up to 250 kilograms. This bike comes in at 195 as a wet weight. Um, so, you know, bit of bit of room to play with there. But yeah, there it is. That's my new toys, um, which is going to make exploring far easier and hopefully allow me to bring you far more content um, in the future. So if you've got any questions about the trailer, about the bike, about anything like that, please pop them below. And please remember to hit the subscribe button and hit the like. Um, every little helps. Thanks, guys. Until next time, be safe, be happy, and be kind.